After shooting the entire video and editing the entire thing, I realized I hadn't shot an intro. So yes, so here goes. Uh, welcome to this video. Welcome to my channel, The Deep Sea Man. I hope you guys like it. Do like, do share, do subscribe, and yeah, learn on the way too. So this video is about the PVU, pump vaporizing unit. I'm talking about the cryogenic pumps, basically how they work. A little bit of dismantling is what we did on the hot air seals, some bit of calibration, and you'll know how, how the pumps develop pressure from five to six bar inlet ethane and shooting out at 380 bar straight to the gas valve train and then to the engine. So this is the MOP screen of the PVU, the cryogenic pump. So let's go. This end is the hydraulic side. This is the driving end. So here is the inlet solenoid. We have 225 bar hydraulic oil acting on this side of the piston. And on the other side of the piston acting as a spring will be the low pressure oil. It's the same oil, but going through an orifice and a pressure reducing arrangement here. So this acts as the spring. So when the solenoid gets the signal, high pressure oil goes in, pushes it there. The moment solenoid loses the signal or when the pump reaches the end stroke, this is released back, pressure goes back. And because of the hydraulic spring, the cylinder goes back. So this entire piston is connected to the cold end side. The cold end piston takes suction here via the non-return suction valve and the delivery valves. It takes suction at about five to six bar and delivers oil at 300, I mean delivers the, the liquid, the gas, ethane, ethane liquid at 380 bar on this side. When the system is not running, we are preparing the system. We have, we have ethane cargo coming in and recirculating here, going back to the tank here. As you see an orifice here, there's an orifice here, an orifice here. This acts like a cooling coil and keeps the entire uh, assembly on the cold end side uh, cold, keeping it at about maybe 10 degrees higher than what the, uh, the cargo is coming in. Here, what you have is your cold end seal. So if any leak on this side, you will know. And this seal here is your hot end seal. Any leak on the hydraulic side, you will know by draining off this side. Here we have a heater that doesn't let the whole shaft be always cold. So this is called as a cold end side, the seal heater. You have, if the heater fails or if for some reason you have an insulation trouble around uh, this part, then see low temperature trip also. So let's have a look at the parameters. It counts your stroke, circulation temperature. Right now the system is off, so this is not a running. System. Okay, so let's head to the CMR. This is the skid where the PVU, the cryogenic pumps are mounted inlet valve to the cryogenic pumps the first cryogenic pump that you see okay so that's the reciprocating motion of the pump that is the recirc line going back to the tank this is the delivery line of pump number one it goes into common manifold and then into the vaporizer the vaporizer is heated by glycol so let's do this one more time the cold end the cryogenic pump inlet to the pump reciprocating motion of the pump the recirculation oil back the delivery pipe into the vaporizer now let's move to the hot end the hot end is where the hydraulic oil this is the driving end of the pump it receives hydraulic oil at 300 bar 225 bar and the accumulator and the hydraulic side of the system all right so now from the vaporizer the outlet comes straight away to this filter which has a dp indicator to tell us whether the filter is clogged or not after the filter it comes into this first valve this delivers it to the gas train or if some trip occurs that valve will open and vent out the system it's like a blow or a purge valve that'll just purge out the system from there what you see now that that unit is called as the gas valve train after the gas valve train then it goes to the engine after you do any maintenance on the system or you're not sure about uh, the position of the pumps you need to do a calibration of the pumps from the mop which is in the ccr you do pump one two and three one at a time for that you need to shut down the system of course put the pvu to manual mode and this is just uh, what the video that you see that's just you know i have sped up the time is about 10 times the speed so you can see you follow the simple procedures mentioned on the MOP. You watch watch the current and watch the hydraulic pressure building up, dropping down. And yeah, very simple. Follow the procedures. In between, you might even have to go and uh, press this local control a couple of times. Observe the LEDs. This is all mentioned in the procedure on the MOP. There are three of these pumps. In case one fails or one trips, the other two can take complete load. So you have to go shut the valve manually. You will get an indicator. 
After that, you have to go and click here and disable this pump. Whichever, if I do it number one, I shut inlet and outlet valve of pump number one, and then I go and I deactivate the pump. In that way, I can run the system even with just two pumps. Okay, so one more quick run through. This is the cryogenic pump, hydraulically driven by hydraulic oil here, reciprocating single cylinder. We have three single cylinder. This side, cold end, hot end, hydraulic oil, 225 bar inlet and released by the spring oil, cold end. Inlet about 5 to 6 bar, discharging 380 bar of cargo ethane in this case. We had some technicians on board from MAN PVU to renew the hot end seals. So let me give you a quick, a quick run through of what uh, the things look like. So this is the hot end piston. The seals were damaged. Here he's taking out the old thread locker from the, from the connections. That's the hot end. Oh yes, this is not soup. <laughs> we're heating the seals to put them in and so that we can put them onto the hot end piston. That's the end cover of the hot end. End cover with its accumulator block getting ready to go in. This is how the cylinder looks like. Yes, all bolts to be greased with this silver grade and DC is locked at 8150. Finally, the cover in and the torque. Okay, so this is what we see right here. This is available straight away on the internet. You can look for this this uh, PDF file and look for something called a PVU pump vaporizer unit. This is what we see. This is Man Energy Solutions. Everything's there. So you can see the PVU pumps are here, the glycol inlet, the glycol inlet filter, the fuel inlet, what we went through in my previous videos, fuel inlet going into pump one is what we did. I showed you the description. This one is the return. This is the hot end. This is the cold end. The next slide, what they give you, they give you a little bit of a description on the pump. It's actually a sectional view of the pump further down. A bigger sectional view that shows you the cold end of the pump. This is very informative. You can go to the Man BNW website. And finally, this is the hot end, what I was talking about, what the guys helped me overhaul the seal. I told you, see, you have low pressure oil acting at the spring, that is 47 plus or minus 2 bar is your return spring, your inlet is 225 bar. And yes, so this is your cross sectional of the hot end. This, this, remember in my video, this is what these guys had dismantled. They pulled out the hot end piston, they changed the seals. Another good read through is this, this file. This file is also available on the Man BNW website. You can just go read through the file. This is again what they specify. A lot of specifications of the pump, the PVU main data when it's used for ethane or it's used for LNG also. Basically looks the same with a few minor you changes. Go through the website. This is what you would see. Let me zoom in some more. Yes, so this is basically from the tank, fuel tanks. It comes into the FGSS, fuel gas supply system. That's where your PVUs are. See here, the HP pumps. Then goes to the GVT, the gas valve train. Then through the double wall pipe to the main engine. Thanks a lot. I had some time. And you know, that's why I'm in my stripes and uniform ready to go for maneuvering. The pilot at Panama was delayed. We had so I had to shoot this last bit of the video. Well, hope you like this bit of the video. Hope you learned something new. Do stay tuned for more. I'll be showing you the next few videos, how the how the gas from the PVU pumps goes to the gas train. What's what is the gas train all about? And from there to the double wall pipes into the main engine. And let's talk about how gas is injected into the engine as well. Until then, take care. Bye bye. Stay safe. Read up and come with follow up questions. Bye bye.